setting up a new company in Sage Payroll. When accessing Sage Payroll for the first time, you're presented with this screen. In this video, we'll cover the new company option. This setup option should be used if you are a brand new company or if you're migrating your existing payroll at the start of the tax year. If you're unsure which of these options is the correct one for you, please watch this video. Before setting up, you'll need the following information. Employee payment frequency information, including how often you'll pay them and their usual pay date each period. Employee details, including, but not limited to, full names, addresses, start dates, national insurance numbers and their date of birth. If you're setting up any brand new employees, you'll need their previous tax details. This would be a P45 Part 3 or a P46 if the new employee does not have a P45 from their previous employer. Pension scheme and provider information. If you're a new business and you need more information about automatic enrolment and pensions, please contact the pensions regulator. Let's take a look at setting up your Sage payroll. To start setting up your payroll, click it here. You are now presented with two setup steps. Set up your employee paydays and add your employees. To set up your payday calendars, click here. This is where you choose when and how often your employees are paid. You can pay your employees weekly, two weekly, four weekly and monthly. Set up your specific pay calendar here. Fill in the details and click save. You can set up more than one pay frequency if required. Simply repeat the process. You are now ready to enter your employees. To do this, click summary and then click here and then add your employees. Alternatively, you can add your employees using the Create Employee option in the Employees tab. To create the employee record, click Create Employee. Complete your employee details. We'd recommend adding as much information as possible to your employee records. If you're a new company employing your first members of staff, you can enter their previous tax details at the bottom. Selecting P45, or if you don't have a P45, you can enter a P46. The P46 will not include year-to-date information. If you're moving your existing payroll at the start of the tax year, select the existing employee option. Once you're happy with the information entered, click Save. To add more employees, repeat the process. Before you process your first payroll, you should enter your original staging date or duties start date for automatic enrolment. You can do this here. If you are a brand new company, this date will be your duties start date. This is the date you employed your first member of staff. You can set up your pension scheme using the Pensions tab. If you're not sure how to set up your pension or which setup options apply to your scheme, please check with your provider or you can cross-reference these details with your previous payroll software. You can find help by clicking this icon. You can watch our help videos by clicking here. If you require further help, you can browse and search our help centre by clicking the help option at the top of your payroll. If you'd like to complete e-learning courses for free, please visit Sage University. You have now learned how to set up a new company or migrate your existing company at the beginning of the tax year.